Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again uh, today on Adventures with Jet. We visit the Gilgal Sculpture Garden, located at 749 East, 500 South in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, described sometimes as a hidden local treasure, uh, sometimes as a visionary art environment, but also sometimes as just a little weird. Gilgal Sculpture Garden was envisioned, designed, and created by Thomas Battersby Child Jr. in the mid 20th century. The garden contains 12 original sculptures and over 70 stones engraved with scriptures, poems, and literary texts. It was officially opened uh, as a public park in the year 2000. The Friends of Gilgal Gardens maintain the grounds, and if you'd like to donate or help out, check out their website to learn more, gilgalgardens.org. There's no smoking. Dogs are allowed on leash as long as you clean up after yourselves. They do allow some events. Uh, when I was there, they were getting ready for an Easter egg hunt, it looked like, or some kind of Easter festivities. A bunch of families wandering around the park. Uh, I think you can do weddings and other things. They don't allow a lot of like food or like a you know a big to do like that. So definitely on that website, check out, uh, give them a call, see what you think. So uh, on the way home, we noticed there was a uh, dude getting ready with a yard sale here on the side of the road. So of course I had to stop and see if there's anything cool. He had a bunch of uh, books. Uh, he said he had thousands and thousands of books, but he didn't have a ton of stuff out when I was there. Uh, some random yard tools, a lot of records. He says he was selling a lot of records. He said he, of course, like every time he said that he used to have a friend who just gave him a ton of old comics, is what his words were, and that they're all gone by now. Uh, I mean, not from this yard sale, but yard sales past. Uh, I did see a little bit of uh, comic related stuff here. Got some old beat up Spider-Man issues, a Shadowhawk uh, graphic novel. There was a wizard. And then I just bought some cool old uh, books as well. He was telling me some cool stories about back in the day, but uh, I wasn't paying attention to my storage on my phone. And of course I ran out, so I lost uh, most of that. But uh, I just kind of talked about how he used to be in a band or host bands and how we got you know arrested and hassled back in the day all right well thanks for joining us can't say joining thanks for joining us on another adventure here um, hope to see you on the next one thanks for sticking around and bye bye